Hello everyone and welcome to the latest version of Shimiji available as always from Kilkacon.com. Head on over to Kilkacon.com slash Shimiji and click that download now button and you'll get this latest version for your very own. There's many new features available for both users and artists. We're going to start with the users today and let's start up Shimiji and see what's new. But oh no, our Shimiji is not real. Oh no, what are we going to do about this? Well, the Shimiji chooser has come to save the day. Now, whenever the Shimiji selection is invalid, this will automatically appear and allow us to select the Shimiji, which are available, so we can get started without having to dive into those configuration files. That's a new change. There's also been some changes here in the settings area. In the new uh, interactive windows tabs, we have a whitelist, which works as it did before, and a new blacklist feature, which we can use to exclude individual programs that we just never want to be interactive, regardless of what's in the whitelist. So let's add the word hello now. I'd also like to point out that if you're using this blacklist, you can actually have the whitelist be empty, which will make every window interactive, except what you've explicitly put here in the blacklist. Okay. So as we can see, our window here is called hello chat, but because we've excluded the word hello, this window isn't interactive, even though the word chat is. And there we go. There's also been some, some under the hood improvements. So for example, if using a Japanese computer, you should find Shimiji works a little bit more reliably for you because there was a bit of an issue there. So let's move on to what's new for artists. And of course the headline feature for this is the new variables feature. So let's have our Shimiji pick some mushrooms here. This Shimiji is actually running a template that I prepared for this new version. So if you head over, head on over to patreon.com slash Kilkacon and just search for template, you will find this template. They're all going to be there for free. You don't have to pay anything. And you'll be able to uh, access this template that I'm demonstrating for you today. So we're going to get him to pick mushrooms. As you can see, he's had the first one and went, went fine. Enjoyed that. What about this second mushroom? I wonder how that's going to go any differently. What do you think? Looks tasty. Oh, 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 it's actually going okay. There you go. But what about a third mushroom? Is this going to be the same? Oh, the intrigue, the excitement. What will happen? There's a mushroom down there. Oh, there, he down, he notices. He's picked it. Oh, he's lingering on the thought. And no, no. Our, our hero has fallen asleep. Too many mushrooms. What has happened? Well, what's happened is this guy's sleep variable has actually hit three, which then meant that this guy fell asleep the next time he tried to pick a mushroom. We can wake him up now. And he'll now get up and act as normal, like nothing had happened. This is done using this new variables feature, which has been included in this version. Oh yeah, that's fine. So let's head on over to actions.xml and we can have a look. It says all this stuff up here is just as normal. But as you can see, there's this new variables part on mascot. So mascot.variables, square brackets, then you can put any name in there you like. And that is then just a variable that this particular Shimiji will have. So it is instanced for every single Shimiji. It's not like it's shared between them. And so in this case, when we use that wake up action, we're resetting it back to zero. But otherwise, every time we pick a mushroom, we're increasing it by one. So now when we head over to behaviors, you could see that we have for the pick mushroom next behavior list, both actions are equally like, likely, except the savoring the flavor is for a less than three on sleep and for sleep, it's greater than or equal to three. And that's how that works. So this is obviously a very simple example, but you can use this for things like health, hunger, all sorts of things. I'm looking forward to seeing what people come up with with this new feature. I'd also should point out this piece of the conditions because we're piggybacking off of conditions here to set these variables. However, they are still conditions. So make sure after you've set your variable that you end the statement with a semicolon and then add true there to make sure the condition can still execute. Otherwise, the Shimiji is just not going to run the run this condition at all or it'll just fail. So that's the little piece you just need to keep in mind. There's another thing in the XML I can show you while we're here. So this isn't in the template, but I've just added it for our demonstration purposes today. So we've got the new offset type here on the pinched action here, on the dragged. So normally, the and the default is image anchor, which meant you had to do a whole bunch of mathematics of like, oh yes, like down here, then back up again. The origin setting just automatically works off the top left of the frame. So you can see here we've got an offset X of 20 and an offset Y of 40. So we're just heading down from the top left of the image to get here. 
You also might notice that resisting has also added these properties. This is new in this version to allow the resisting to work because it sort of didn't if you use these settings because the shoe media was considered to be permanently in motion. We also could see that this dragged actually worked. There was actually a small chance previously that this was actually fail the, the resisting and then re-sport at the top. It was very odd. But nonetheless, if you were finding the measurements for the offsets a bit confusing, this new origin setting might be more convenient for you. And the, but wait, there's more. Eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed the new hello chat here. This isn't done used by editing the language files. Oh no, there's a new setting here in settings.properties. The Shimiji EE name override will be language agnostic and will always apply the name that you would like for your Shimiji application. What else is there? Oh, but there's more, you, more I say. So if I click settings, you may notice the Shimiji is stuck in midair. This is intentional because what was happening is that as you were working in the theme editor, the Shimiji would be like throwing the window away and there was nothing you could do about it. It, was, it could be quite disruptive. But now the Shimiji will pause in place until your work is done. And what work you can do has certainly been improved, but the lead theme editor has also been improved. Primary color three has been removed because it literally did nothing. And you can see here, now you can directly key in colors into this area. And as you may notice as well, there's a new descriptive fields over here. So you're no longer confused or lost about what these might be doing. There's now descriptive text to explain every element of Shimiji's color system. So there you go, you can make use of that. So we shall now click done and everything will carry on. <laughs> well, that's just complaining. But that's pretty much the list of things. There's a few other minor fixes like the scan interact, interact and transform actions, uh, transformation actions weren't firing when they had a duration of one, now they will. Um, and of course, you may have noticed that there's been some improved error messages. So let's for, say, for example, I just go here and I just remove this duration. And then I'm like, ha what have I done? Well, the, the system will tell you a lot more about that now, because now the um, error messages have been programmed to be as descriptive as possible. So before error messages were like uh, obscuring data, now they will give you as much data as is possible in the engine. So now you can say, ah, oh, it's the resisting action in this particular Shimiji. And this pose didn't load. So you're like, hmm, I wonder why that action here in there didn't work. And you're like, oh wait, there's no duration. So hopefully that helps just sort of narrow down some of these things. It's not gonna be foolproof because no system can be, but that should help you if you get stuck. As always though, thank you for using Shimiji. It's always fun to see what people come up with. That is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you for watching, continue to enjoy Shimiji, and I will see you next time, right here at KilkaCon.com.